Let me now show you how easy it is to deploy this application into a Kubernetes cluster. So for each one of my services, the processor, the provider, and the viewer, I've created a Kubernetes deployment manifest. And inside the deployment manifest, I can put some annotations here that say launch Dapper as a sidecar process inside them all. So I've done this for each one of my services, um, as well as built those services into a container bridge that can get deployed. I've deployed them in, right into this cluster. So if I do kubectl get pods, you'll see that each one of these services is running the processor, the provider, and viewer here as a containerized image. I haven't changed any code here. I've just deployed them as container images. But I've gone a step further than that. I've actually taken the components here now and substituted them. So rather than using Redis for my local state store, I've now replaced this with Azure Service Bus to do the pub sub communication for the process tweets. And rather than using Redis as my local state store, I've instead used Azure Table Storage for saving my tweets that have been processed from the, uh, from the, the processor. So what I can do now, as I can see, if I look into the services here, you'll see that there's a public endpoint here for the viewer. Um, this is the public endpoint. Um, so I can actually go and see, here's the series of tweets that got processed inside here for that public endpoint uh, with different sentiments analysis against the wall. I can also go and look at my service bus here and see the process tweets that have been done. I can also, and you'll see that there's a number of them that have been done over time. I can also go and look at the storage for each one of those tweets inside my Azure table store. And this is all of them down here in this list. And finally, Dapper provides rich diagnostics. It keeps track of all the telemetry, uh, the metrics and the tracing between your services. So I can see the amount of memory that's used for any given one of my services. Uh, I can dive in here and actually can see the metrics about uh, each one of them. Uh, so for example, I can zoom in here and see you know, the average time it takes for me to publish a pro uh, process tweet here inside here is 98 milliseconds from when it was published to when it was processed um, by, by the viewer. So this diagnostics view here allows me to do uh, rich diagnostics when I do uh, debugging or when I say view my application um, to find out what's happening inside of it all. So this just shows how straightforward it is to deploy Dapper inside a Dapper application into my Kubernetes cluster.